of the function and then identify the domain. So in this example, if you guys remember, just our steps. Hopefully you guys wrote those down. But the steps basically we're going to do is replace f of x with y. Then we swap the x and the y variable. Then we solve for y. So to solve for y, when we have y cubed, to undo cubing, we're going to now introduce the cube root. So the cube root of something cubed is just going to be isolated. So it's the cube root of x equals y. And then we replace y with f inverse of x. And then they asked us to identify the domain. Now remember, we cannot take the square root of a negative number, nor can we take the even root. It doesn't matter if it's a fourth root, eighth root, 16th root. You cannot take the even root of a negative number. However, we can take the odd root of a negative number and of positive numbers. So um, it doesn't matter what number, what real number I plug in for x, I can take the cube root of any number, positive or negative. So therefore, my domain would be all real numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity. OK? So make sure when you guys are doing those problems, you're also including the domain 